Hi everyone, and welcome to our little extra video for week 14, because I have mentioned on my wish list of things that I wanted to buy but didn't during my no-buy year several times now that the Tibby Sid jeans have a firm spot on this list, and I really needed to do some more further wardrobe exploration to see if they should stay on this list. So this video is me recreating, I think it's gonna be four of the model picture outfits using the jeans or jean adjacent items that I already have in my closet. So let me go ahead and scoot over so that we hopefully have room for outfits demos on here and we'll get an idea of the vibes I can create using the items I already have and whether the Tibby Sid jeans would really enhance my wardrobe or just be a duplicate for the vibes of things I already have or if they're a worthy addition or even a replacement to something that's already in my closet that I don't absolutely love. So the first recreation was from the model photo on net porte and this is actually a very me outfit, especially the way that I've done it with a little substitution in the shoe. So the outfit consists of a gray crew neck sweater. So I've got my Ralph Lauren thrifted men's little cotton sweater. And um, this is part of my spring capsule. So you might have already seen this before if you've been on my channel. I paired this, it looks like the model has a button down or button up shirt with the collar completely tucked in or almost completely, but it has that V shape as if it's a button down rather than a t-shirt. So I used my white button down, which is also in my spring capsule. Not that this was a capsule video, but I'm just saying you might've already seen these pieces. And then she's got a black kind of neck wallet. Uh, and I used my pull-in micro bag to serve this purpose. She also has a what looks like a brown tote bag behind her, but I did not include this. I didn't think it was a core part of the main look. I didn't think it really changed the vibe that much. And then the Sid jeans, of course, and she's paired it here, or they, the people making this photo have paired it with flats that are white and they look to be square toe and they have like a V opening. I have nothing like this in my wardrobe, nor have I any interest in acquiring anything like this. So instead, I paired it with my white slimline sneakers. These are Vejas with a little bit of a silver accent. And this kind of makes the outfit more me anyway. It adds like the little sporty element, a little more casual. So this is what it looks like with the three different bottoms. For each of these outfits, I wore them with the three bottoms that I have. Sorry, I had some gremlins knocking on my door. So I paired it with each of the three blue jean denim bottoms that I have. And this consists of a blue denim maxi skirt, which again, in my spring capsule, but I've actually not worn it yet out and about. And a pair of blue relaxed denim jeans. These are the men's Levi's jeans, also in my spring capsule. And the Jerf Avenue straight leg jeans in the blue wash, classic blue. Uh, those are perhaps the least similar to the Tibby Sids, but I just included them anyway because they're a pair of jeans that I frequently wear and represent what's currently in my wardrobe and the styles that I already kind of gravitate towards or enjoy. Um, and perhaps highlight a contrast to what the Sid jeans could bring or use to enhance my current wardrobe. So the first outfit with the gray sweater, here it is with the maxi skirt. In some ways, I actually think the skirt is the most similar. I think I might have already said that, but you can see it here because of the volume in the thigh area, which the SIDS really have, and also kind of all the way down the leg. The SIDS have this balloon type shape, which the skirt doesn't really have. But the only problem with the outfits with the skirt is that the skirt itself still kind of gives me like conservative vibes or, you know, religious cult vibes, which no shade to anybody who likes the skirts or is part of those groups. I really don't mean to, to spread any negativity there, but I just don't feel like it's me. Uh, even though it's super comfortable material, you might also see, if you have a good eye, that the tags are still on the skirt on the back pocket and tucked into my pocket here, my front pocket, because I'm just not sure whether or not I'm going to keep it. The next bottoms are the relaxed Levi's jeans and these might be the most direct comparison in that they're a pair of pants that are also a looser kind of more relaxed fit but they really don't go the distance that the Sid jeans do they don't have the exaggerated vibe they don't really 
make any kind of statement. They're still within the realms of normal. I mean, for heaven's sake, they're a men's pair of jeans, so we know that they can't be that avant-garde, or men probably wouldn't buy and wear them. So, <laughs> again, no shade to men. There are many fashionable men out there. I'm just saying that for a general pair of men's pants, they're probably not gonna go the distance as far as editorial fashion looks because that's just not what most men are interested in. Let me just move on. <laughs> this is the outfit with the slimmer jeans, the straight leg, Jerf Avenue. They also have a much higher waist. And I noticed in the second iteration of this, after the skirt, basically, that the model had this sweater kind of tucked in. I guess it's the millennial tuck where it's tucked in on one side. Um, so the sweater's tucked in one side, kind of draping down diagonally. I don't think I did the model pose for this try on because she just had her arms behind her back carrying her bag and I didn't have a big bag that I added to this look. But yeah, that's, that's what the outfit looks like with the three options that I have and the sneakers instead of those white leather flats. It occurs to me now that perhaps what she's got around her neck is a sunglass case. Anyway, moving on, the second outfit that I demoed or tried on was the one that's on Tibby's website. It's a very, very simple outfit with just a white, plain white tank top and a black belt and black sandals and the jeans. So, and this is the wash, the classic wash that I'm interested in. So all of my options I think are in the ballpark of the classic wash as well. So that's kind of helpful. Um, or it might also be a sign that maybe I don't need more classic wash items in my wardrobe. I'm not sure. Anyway, the white tank top, I don't have a high neck version of. I have the spaghetti strap version that I had in my spring capsule, but I just don't think the open, openness on top would give the same vibe. So I tried it with a tank top that you haven't seen before on this channel. It's a Uniqlo high neck gray and it's a little bit cropped. So in that way, it kind of doesn't really give what this Tibby one is giving because they've got it tucked in into the jeans with a belt. So the cropped look, you'll see it here with the straight leg jeans because they have the highest waist and that's just what it looks like. This outfit is much more slim than the Tibby outfit. So I just don't know if it works the greatest. I also don't have black sandals. So you'll see that I've paired it with some black loafers, which is again, kind of a different vibe. And I'm not really interested in getting a pair of black sandals right now. They are nice, like minimal black sandals with a square toe. But I'm not really in the position to wear an editorial black sandal very much. Anyway, so I opted to switch to a white t-shirt and it's a fitted white t-shirt with a high neck and the sleeves are cap sleeves and I can tuck it in. So I think it dupes the vibes more effectively. And to be honest, this is kind of a very plain outfit. And I did switch the accessories for tan. So here's my tan belt and my sandals that have a kind of tan footbed and a kind of bone white upper. They'll be in my summer capsule. They're not I mean, I didn't actually do shoes in my capsule for spring, but I haven't been wearing them because it's not been sandal weather. Anyway, so this is the outfit with the t-shirt instead of the tank top. And here it is with the relaxed jeans. So again, we're getting closer, but this outfit is so, so basic that without the jeans that make any kind of statement, it's not really giving anything. Uh, and here it is with the maxi skirt. So again, very basic. And I think the skirt gives connotations that are not necessarily what I wanna be giving. So just not sure about it. The next outfit is much more me in general with the bright top and shoes that kind of match and bookend the jeans in this outfit. And it's otherwise, it's probably the same level of basic as the other outfit, right? It's just a fitted top and a pair of shoes and jeans and the top and shoes match. Whereas in the other outfit, the belt and shoes matched. So it's kind of the same level of basic, but in a color, which feels like it makes it more me, less completely neutral. So instead of the bright green, the highlighter kind of color, I went for cobalt blue as it's one of my colors. And again, you've seen this tank top in my spring capsule. I haven't done an outfit with it yet until now, but here it is. It's even got the ribbed pattern that the model's top has in this uh, example photo, which is great. And her shoes look to be like boots. They look like they have some kind of heel on the back and the sole matches the color of the upper, which is very interesting. I perhaps could have duped it a little bit closer with my Birkenstocks, the blue Boston clogs that I have that are, I think they have a matching blue bottom to their upper. And that would have certainly been another valid option for this to dupe the vibes. I instead went for sneakers again because I have bright blue Adidas Gazelles and 
Again, I like the sneakers. The fits is the things, the thing to discuss here. And actually, the more I look at these jeans, when I first saw them, I thought, wow, what an exaggerated and sculptural artistic shape. Um, it would be a little bit weird to wear those in avant-garde because I had never seen jeans like that in real life. The more I look at these pictures, the more I think they look more normal to me, which I don't know if that's good or bad, <laughs> but I still haven't tried these on my body in real life, obviously, so who knows how it would actually feel. Anyway, as I've been talking, hopefully you've been seeing the blue outfit with the straight jeans, the Levi's jeans, and the denim maxi skirt. I also tried to do my hair in the same way so that it was like a middle parted slick back ponytail. Um, I'm sorry I didn't go the distance for the lips or the earrings. And in one of the pictures she has like a little tote bag and a tattoo. And I don't have either of those things in this demonstration, but we got as close as we could. And it was encouraging to see the jeans styled in a way that I would already kind of style things with the blue and the blue, the yellow and the yellow. So <laughs> kind of made me want them even more or made it feel like they would be something that would integrate seamlessly into my existing wardrobe. The last outfit is a very, very simple one again. This one is the one that I've kind of currently got on right now with the darker blue long sleeve fitted shirt and the jeans. And she also has what appears to be a square toe black pair of sandals, which I don't have. So again, I just wore the sandals that I do have. And she has her hands in her pockets. So I kind of tried to do that for the demonstration photos. But yeah, the top is a darker blue than the wash of the jeans, which I think actually is the case for most of mine. And maybe not as obviously so, but it is this still the case. This is just one of the long sleeve skims shirts. It was not in my capsule. Here's what it looks like with the jeans. Here's what it looks like with the different pairs, the straight leg, and then the relaxed and the skirt. So I'm curious to hear your comments and thoughts on this comparison, what you, what you think. My general thoughts, I mean, I looked, I actually have not seen the footage of these outfits, but I did look in the mirror and see kind of what I thought it looked like just facing myself. And my overall general sense is that I don't really have something that dupes the vibes to the extent that I want them to be duped, right? The vibes that I'm talking about are the kind of artistic exaggerated volume, the relaxedness of the kind of rise being a little bit lower than high rise. I mean, I guess the, the core thing is just the artistic drape of these pants and how they go out, but they're not a skirt. I feel like my straight leg jeans are really, really good basic and they're high-waisted, so they're good to wear with... I, I actually think the straight leg jeans look better with looser tops and more layering on top. So I think the sweater outfit was great with these, but the just basic outfits with the slim top were not so great with these. And then the relaxed jeans, I'm just not gonna get rid of those because they're such a good staple for home wear because they're so uh, comfortable. They're lower rise, they're oversized, but they lack the volume. They lack making a statement in any sort of way. Um, again, I said, like I said, they're men's jeans, so they're probably not designed to make a statement. They're probably just designed to be a comfortable workhorse, and they are. So they're not going to go anywhere, but they might get relegated to the homeware capsule instead of being included in any kind of workwear or wardrobe that I tend to wear out more often. It's not that I don't wear these out ever, but they just don't make me feel stylish when I wear them. The skirt might go somewhere, <laughs> to be quite honest, because I just don't know if I can get over the feeling I have when I put it on of just not being cool or just being conservative. Um, and I, you know, I'm not bringing politics or anything into this, but like just the vibes, just, I can't, uh, I think the ways that I've seen it styled where I like it is like the overly nineties way with like a, it could be like a white tube top and some tiny sunglasses and a little shoulder bag and a chihuahua. Um, <laughs> that might be going too far, obviously, but I think that's really the only way that I can see this outfit working in my mind. And that is not a style that I gravitate towards without making it kind of costume oriented. So I just, I'm feeling more and more eh about it. And there's all that wardrobe advice that if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. So this is probably a no. And like I said, I've kept the tags on for so long. I have a black denim maxi that does make me feel more cool when I wear it. The slits in the front and it's kind of that faded black 
kind of cool girl denim wash as far as my brain goes. It's not that light blue denim is not a cool girl thing. It certainly is, but it's just not giving me the vibes, okay? I just, it's as simple as that. So again, I'm going to hang on to this because I don't want to make decluttering mistakes. I'm going to keep this until I get the Sid jeans, or at least that's my plan right now as of filming, is that I'm going to hang on to this until I get the chance to try on the Sid jeans in real life so that I can have a real comparison rather than just these photos and my imagination to see if they kind of give me the, the vibes that I want and make me feel even better about letting go of this piece because it'll kind of replace anything that this could do but without the, the vibes that I don't want. I need to wrap this video up. Hopefully this made some kind of sense as far as wardrobe experimentation proof of concept, just playing with my clothes instead of immediately jumping out and buying, in this case, a very expensive pair of jeans that I don't technically need, but just kind of want and actually kind of want a lot. Um, I won't be making any orders until my no buy year is over. Did I mention that they're about $500? <laughs> so I'm going to have to be doing some budgeting planning for that as well, because I can't just drop $500 on a pair of pants or on anything really. But I do have plans to share my future budget and my personal income and the ways that I'm thinking about dividing it between living essentials, expenses, savings, and kind of guilt-free fun money based on many different methods. So that is coming. If you want to see that, feel free to subscribe um, so you get the notification of when I post that. And if you're also trying to manage your consumerism habits and change change your shopping behavior, stay tuned, I guess. If this helps you or gives you something to relate to, I'm, I'm happy to be here for you. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. I've said vibes way too many times right now. The effect. Um, look, I'm being influenced by Gen Z and Gen Alpha on social media, right? It's all about the vibes. <laughs>